Hello Math 1093, this is Dr. P with a ceiling fan problem. What you're looking at here is a fairly standard ceiling fan. It's got five blades, and each blade has the same length. Uh, so that you can see how long the blades of the fan are, I'm going to put up this sheet of cardstock here. This is a standard sheet of cardstock. It's just really thick paper that is 8.5 by 11 inches. You're looking at the, this, I've got the long side on top. So just for comparison, I'm going to put it up to one of the blades of the ceiling fan. Uh, we'll use this one. Okay, so this is the end of it right here. Okay, now you can see the whole thing. All right, and then there's a little bit more to it. Let me square this up so you can see it better. All right. So now I'm going to turn this on to its slowest setting, which is still pretty fast for this fan. This fan's pretty well juiced up. We're going to let this thing get going, which will take a few seconds. And then once this fan has reached full speed, we're going to do something a little strange. We're going to take this sheet of cardstock here and give it a nice little beating. So let's wait until we got this thing going at full speed. I think we're pretty close. I think we're about ready. All right, here we go. So have a listen to this. There you go. I think that knocked some dust off of there. I should probably go and uh, check that. But anyway, my question for you is, how fast is the end of each blade moving, both in angular speed and linear speed? Uh, use sensible units for both. All right, that's it.